Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, another 8-bit motherboard. Uh, my computer from 2004 was built around this AN7 and I, use it, I used it until uh, 2007. I had it stored since then and I think I only opened it once 7 or 8 years ago to add some items. And now let's see what's on the inside. And there are two boxes. Uh, there's the floppy with the drivers for the serial ATA uh, hard drives. There's the AN7 user manual. the AN7 quick installation guide a CD with the drivers although I remember one with the with an yellow Formula One car but I guess this is it and uh, uh, you guru uh, quick guide and the other box um, has a a bit label has some uh, IDE cable Uh, serial ATA cable that I remember become became loose sometimes but I remember it being uh, original and uh, it looks like the rest of the items don't really belong here this is a sound card I got some years back I think uh, it's one of the items I added uh, when I opened the box And I think we're going to use it for the benchmarks. And now the motherboard. Uh, that's the back plate. And there's another back, back plate for an 8-bit AN8. Maybe we'll review that. And here's the motherboard. And this one has free phase uh, VRM, free memory slots, and uh, here's the um, YouGuru logo. Also, uh, on the right, the ID ports are angled, like some modern motherboards. And the back side looks pretty clean. And also um, the ports on the back plate area. Other features include an AGP 8X, uh, 5 PCI slots, 2 serial ATA connectors, and the 2 angled ID connectors. Next we're going to have a quick look um, at the 3200 AMD Athlon XP. We're going to we're going to use this CPU for most of the socket A reviews, and I'm including uh, this clip again in case you missed it from the NF7S installation. And now we assemble everything.
this is the same video card we used in the previous uh, setup we're gonna make this a fair fight the IDE cable fits nice and clean like it was meant for this type of setup and next we're adding the sound card finally a nice clean build I would have stopped the installation video here, but uh, there's no getting over the angled uh, IDE connectors and I need to show you how the second uh, IDE cable connects by adding a DVD-ROM. And this is the final build. In the next video, we're gonna look at some benchmarks. Thank you and see you next time.